Carbohydrates are biomolecules that are composed of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms in the ratio of 1 to 2 to 1. We can represent the proportion of these elements within carbohydrate molecules with the formula CH2O. Most carbohydrates are characterized as either monosaccharides, disaccharides, or polysaccharides. The term saccharide is just another word for sugar. The prefixes mono, di, and poly refer to the number of sugars in the molecule. Mono means one, so a monosaccharide is a carbohydrate made of one unit of sugar. The prefix di means two, so a disaccharide is a carbohydrate made of two units of sugar. And poly means many, so a polysaccharide is made of many sugar units bonded together. Let's talk about monosaccharides first. Monosaccharides are the building blocks, or monomers, of all carbohydrates. Common monosaccharides include glucose, fructose, and galactose. Glucose is by far the most abundant monosaccharide. It's water-soluble, easily transported through an organism, and is the energy source for cellular respiration and the production of ATP. Fructose is the primary monosaccharide found in fruits and plants, and galactose is the primary monosaccharide found in milk. All of these monosaccharides are six carbon sugars with the chemical formula C6H12O6. They can be depicted chemically as either straight chains or rings. Disaccharides are formed when monosaccharides are joined together through dehydration reactions forming what are called glycosidic linkages. Common disaccharides include maltose, which is made up of two glucose molecules, sucrose, also known as table sugar, which is made up of glucose and fructose, and lactose, or milk sugar, which contains glucose and galactose. Polysaccharides are formed when glucose monomers link together to form long chains. These long chains of glucose units are ideal for storing energy. The chains can be straight or branched. Plants store energy in the form of amylose, which has straight chains, or amylopectin, which is branched. Animals differ from plants in that they store energy in the form of glycogen which is a highly branched polysaccharide that can be broken down quickly to supply energy to tissues. We refer to carbohydrates as being either simple sugars or complex carbohydrates. Monosaccharides and disaccharides are commonly referred to as simple sugars. The term complex carbohydrates refers to the polysaccharides. Many important biological molecules are made of repeating subunits, called monomers. When many monomers join, the result is a polymer. For example, amino acid monomers join to form a protein polymer, and glucose monomers combine to form a complex carbohydrate polymer. Biological polymers form by dehydration synthesis reactions. As you can see here, each of the monomers in this reaction has a hydrogen, or H, in a hydroxyl, or OH, group. In the course of the reaction, the hydrogen is removed from one monomer and the hydroxyl group from the other. The hydrogen and hydroxyl group combine to form water, and a bond links the two monomers. Hydrolysis is the opposite of a dehydration synthesis reaction. During a hydrolysis reaction, a polymer is reduced to its monomer subunits by the addition of water. In fact, the word hydrolysis literally means to break water. The hydroxyl group from a water molecule attaches to one monomer, and the remaining hydrogen attaches to the other monomer. In other words, water is used to break the bond holding monomers together. Let's do a quick recap. During dehydration synthesis, monomers join to form polymers, and water is released. The opposite happens during hydrolysis, where water is added to the reaction to break a polymer into monomers.